hello my dear friends i hope you are all fine today i am sharing with you a beautiful plant alocasia alocasia are available in a huge range of varieties but every plant offer a stunning and often unusual centerpiece of any room in your home in the right condition and with the right care alocasia are fast growing plants so let's have a look at the best care of these plants Alocasia, known as elephant plant or African mask plant, are tropical plants that features arrowhead-shaped leaves. There are over 70 type of alocasia available, which also include hybrid version. These plants are popular for their leaf shapes, colors, and size. Now, dear friends, let's talk about light conditions and location. Alocasia are fairly adaptable so will thrive in a range of light conditions from low to bright indirect sunlight. But ideally they like to be in the bright indirect sunlight for the best chance to thrive. You will know if your plant have enough light because the more light it has the quicker it will grow. If it is the sport without as much light it will still survive but it wouldn't grow as quickly or abundantly now talk about watering alocasia absolutely love water so they will require plenty of water throughout the year however they like their soil to be kept moist and not too soggy so there is a fine line to treat with watering these plants as alocasia are the tropical plant they do require a lot of moisture but they have thick stems which are used to store moisture to learn more about your plant and the water it needs it may be case of trial and error just keep an eye on it every few days and only water it when you, uh, the soil is dry eventually you will learn how often it likes to be watered and adjust your watering schedule accordingly these plants are sensitive to overwatering so less is definitely more when it comes to alocasia make sure you are not watering too much and you are giving the oxygen chance to get to the roots remember that during the winter alocasia tend to go dormant so they will not need too much water now let's talk about humidity alocasia like to be a more humid environment so we like the warmer temperatures your bathroom or kitchen can offer if you don't keep your plants in the kitchen or a bathroom you can help to raise the humidity around it by placing it in a group with other plants or placing it on a tray filled with pebbles now my dear friends i am sharing with you some good to know things about alocasia the winter care it's a common for alocasia plants to die back during cold winter months so if the leaves of your plant start to turn brown and fall off during the winter it is not a cause for immediate concern it's probably not dead and it is just getting ready to lie dormant uh, in the winter you should reduce watering when this happen and start to pick back up again once the spring start to arrive and new growth happen even if you if your plant does not go dormant you should still reduce your watering schedule the next is fertilizer if you want to fertilize your alocasia make sure you use a fertilizer that has been formulated for foliage plants such as a slow release fertilizer and apply it every few months during the spring and summer months next is toxicity unfortunately alocasia are toxic plant so offer handling them wash your hands thoroughly and keep them out of the reach of any child children or pets now my dear friends talk about some common problems to look out for uh, number one is leaves turning yellow usually this is due to overwatering, so adjust your watering schedule and make sure your alocasia is not too soggy and the next point is leaves dropping in alocasia this is usually a sign low humidity level which can be boosted through misting or using a pebble tray so my dear friends, I hope you like this beautiful plant and uh, 
next i will discuss uh, about this plant and please if you want to watch my videos more you have to subscribe my channel like this video and share this video with your friends and a family take care see you soon